Good morning. Today is our fifth day here in Glacier National Park. We are starting our day here at our hotel, kind of hotel. It is the Swift Current Motor Inn. Um, we're staying in a cabin, as you probably saw in a prior video. But we are going on the Iceberg uh, Ptarmigan Tunnel Trail today. But not Ptarmigan Tunnel, just Iceberg Lake. Only Iceberg because Ptarmigan, you have to climb up uh, another like thousand or two thousand feet or something like that. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to go to Iceberg. And literally the trailhead starts at our hotel. Is this it? Yeah. So this is our hotel, all the cabins back here. And right there, that's the trailhead. How are you feeling today, Melissa? Good. Legs feel strong? Oh yeah, my legs are fine. It's my feet that uh, give me trouble. Yeah. Like, oh, oh well. What? I wanted to replace my insoles because I have ones with arch support. Oh. Well, the lodge is right there, or the cabin is right there. It's true. What do you think? Yeah, yeah that's okay. We had thought today was going to be kind of a rest day and we were going to head over to Waterton and just kind of um, look around. But um, since we looked at the weather, um, today and tomorrow are going to be the nicer days. Like right now, super sunny is really nice. And Sunday was going to be forecasted to be kind of, you know, cloudy, rainy. Um, so we decided that maybe that day we can, you know, go to Waterton instead. So today we're going to do Iceberg and tomorrow we're going to do Grinnell Glacier. So the Iceberg round trip hike is 9.6 miles. So 4.8 one way. Um, it only gains about 1,200 1, feet of elevation in that 4.8 miles. Hopefully not too bad. And we had a leisurely morning today. It was about a little after nine o'clock. So we just had um, coffee and breakfast at the room. And now it should take us about five hours to get up there and come back. All right, this Iceberg Lake Trail, once you get above the trees and you're walking along this uh, ridge here, has really, really cool views. You can see, uh, this is kind of, see kind of like two valleys. There's a valley back there, and then there's another valley back there. And I was telling Melissa, that was where we were up at Pegan Pass uh, a few days ago. That was the wall that you can see um, from the top of the pass. And now we're gonna be on the bottom at Iceberg Lake looking up at the pass. So guys, if you're into photography and stuff like that, Glacier really isn't much like of a sunrise, sunset kind of park, like some other places, like I think Yosemite will be a good place that's, you know, very epic sunrises and sunsets. Um, to us, it doesn't seem like Glacier is one of those parks, but a tip on photography, for some reason in the morning, um, the lighting is better than in the afternoon. Um, even though the, the sun is in the same general height in the sky, just for some reason, um, I think everything kind of clears out in the morning. Um, whereas in the afternoon, it's a little bit more hazy. I don't know what, why that is, but just kind of our observation. All right, here's the turnoff to Tarmigan Tunnel. We have 2.1 miles this way to Iceberg Lake. So we are about a mile and a half from Iceberg Lake, but check out this view right here. How amazing is that, huh? So I think we were up at the top of that pass right there. That's Pekin Pass. We were up there a few days ago. Um, so we're now on the bottom of this pass here. Oh, wow. Look at how blue that water is. That's Iceberg Lake. We are now here at Iceberg Lake. But you guys have to see how blue this water is. It's insane. It's insane. I think this is the bluest water I've ever seen in my life. No joke. Yeah, all right, let's go take a look. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I, I've seen pictures of Iceberg Lake, but for some reason I thought it, I don't know, it didn't look like this. So it's pretty rare 
for me to be amazed by something like really nothing like i don't get excited by anything yeah i'll vouch for that that's true <laughs> so for me to say that this is amazing it's pretty amazing Welcome to Iceberg Lake. It is amazing. Now the question is, are we gonna jump in? Oh, that guy is. Yeah, someone's attempting to jump in. But it's a little windy. It is sunny, but it's about uh, it's barely making 70 degrees right now. So probably not the day to do it. Not the day. I'm gonna go up to the uh, toilet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how was that? Oh, so that was good. Pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice little swim. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, Melissa, what do you think of this lake? amazing. Best hike in Glacier so far. Really? Mm -hmm. Does it blow out the other one? What other one? The Glacier Overlook one? Mm -hmm. If you... Mm -mm. It's more scary. Um, no. No, I guess not. But this hike, like overall, versus the high line though. Like this one's better if you had it only one day. You do this one. Hey, thank you. So this iceberg lake hike is actually really easy. It's 4.8 miles one way, 4.8, 4.9. Um, it's really actually, we gained 1200 feet of elevation, but it was really like gradual. So there was no, uh, you know, steep ascents or anything like that. So it was like, I would consider this like easy to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's it's easy. We it took us what two and a half hours. However, the National Park Service would con considers it moderate. Yeah. No, but it, it took us one fifty five from the time I stopped my clock, mm -hmm. but I stopped it late. I didn't stop it until we were already here and like put our stuff down. Okay, so less than two hours. Yeah, so less than two hours. You know, and easy. We didn't really go like super fast or anything. Just kind of a a nice nice easy pace up here. So yeah. Um, the views all along the way, we are kind of halfway in the forest, halfway out in the open where you can see the views of all the different glaciers and the mountains and everything, so it's, it's a really nice hike. So yeah, it's, and there's not that many people. As you can see, there's, there's a few people back there, but you know, not, not busy at all. Feels like ice. Does it? Yeah. Did it feel, it feels like Colder than where we jumped? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I think if you really wanted to, you could do it. What is your overall conclusion about Iceberg Lake? The best. <laughs> best. Why is it the best? It's, I don't even know. The, the water is really blue. Um, it's just, like it creates this amphitheater kind ah, of. That's a good term. Um, and for being quite an easy trail, there aren't that many people here. So it kind of reminds me of um, Al Lake, hold on, Lake, Al what's the one in Banff? Lake Louise, like with how blue the water is. This is bluer than Lake Louise, I think. Maybe. Just the tip, uh, when you're here, if you want to get some photos, walk along the lake, kind of towards the left as you get up here. Um, there's a few more viewpoints, uh, little outcroppings of rock and stuff. Um, you get a better, I think you get a better perspective of the lake and the glaciers and the mountains from this side, because you get um, basically in front of the glaciers on this side, other than um, being on the side of the glacier. So yeah, just keep walking down and get uh, a little bit better photos on here.
we've spent uh, quite a long time here actually because it's probably one of the most scenic places that we've been to um yeah and how long do you think we spent up here at least an hour at least uh, probably more than that yeah an hour and a half. we had lunch and yeah we lunch took lots of pictures took a lot of photos but yeah we got some good ones but now it is time to head back to our the swift current motor in yeah. home sweet home ready <laughs> set Happy? Yep. <laughs> a pizza, and we also got a smoked trout sandwich. Smoked trout BLT. BLT. It was amazing. Now we're full. We're about to probably maybe take a nap. See? I'm not going to take a nap. I'm going to take a shower. You're going to go take a shower? Yeah. Okay. The showers close at what, six? It closes between six and seven for cleaning. Yeah, so, and it's almost four now. So it's actually a good time to take a shower because no one's taking a shower right now. Well, no, that's not true. People are taking a shower. You think? But, yeah. yeah. But it is a good time to take a shower because if you try to do it at six, you're out of luck. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to go to dinner at that time. So. All right. Let's go.